this is the river kuvam chennai shame once upon a time very good water used to flow through this river commodities provisions and uh, vegetables used to be brought from the suburban villages into the city through this river today it is one of the biggest open sewage systems in this city it carries not only domestic waste but also industrial waste and sometimes even leather effluents this makes this water one of the most polluted in the world we are now going to take some water from this river for our testing we have here about 30 liters of dirty water from the kuwam the water is dark in color very turbid it is giving out a smell now i am going to treat this by the ecotec process the first one we add eco clean 20 which is a flocculent it will separate all the dirt in the water then after filtration filtration with an ordinary filter we are going to add eco clean 50 which is a bactericidal reagent now before i start treating this water i am going to mix it thoroughly from this i am taking one beaker full here and keeping it separately so that it will be a future reference once this water is cleaned we can compare it with this now we'll start the eco tech process the first step i'm going to add eco clean 20 which is a flocculent it will separate all the dirt in the water now for 30 liters we need roughly 0.9 ml of eco clean 20 this is a 1 ml pipette i am going to add 0.9 ml of eco clean 20 which is a flocculent Now after adding this I'm going to mix it thoroughly. In this process what happens is all the dirt in the water begins to separate. to the next step of the ecotech process i'll be adding eco clean 50 which will kill all the bacteria now the sludge is precipitated i am going to filter it using an ordinary tea filter now this water has been filtered all the sludge has been removed the water is clear the only problem is that it still has bacteria in it to remove the bacteria including the e coli we are now going to add eco clean 50 this is a bactericidal reagent now there is only about 15 liters of water in this so eco clean 50 will be using about 0.7 ml these are organic chemicals made from herbal extracts totally harmless to human beings fish and all mammals and uh, aquatic creatures but it is very tough on mosquito larvae as well as bacteria this is the untreated sewage water after 1 hour from the commencement of the experiment the treated sewage water samples of the untreated kuwam water and the treated kuwam water 
were given to the SGS laboratories. Let's take a look at the test reports. In the untreated water, the BOD at the end of 5 days was 680 milligrams per liter. In the treated water, this had come down to 30 milligrams a liter. The COD similarly was 2438 in the untreated water and this had come down to 136 milligrams per liter. The total coliforms in the water was 12,90,000 CFU per ml and post treatment this had come down to 500 CFU per ml. The total suspended solids which was 1,600 milligrams per liter had come down to 23 milligrams per liter and the main highlight E. coli the most difficult bacteria to eliminate which was 500 MPN in 100 milliliters of the untreated water had come down to nil in the treated water. Implementation of the Ecotec process for sewage treatment is actually a very simple operation. All we require are three large tanks. The first, the collection tank, is where you dose the EcoClean 20. Here, the flocculation takes place. In the next tank, the overflow water in the gravitational process will cause the precipitation of the sludge. The clear water at the top can be pumped through sand and carbon filters into a third tank which is going to be the final treatment tank where disinfection is done using EcoClean 50. Now the water is totally clear, clean and bacteria free and fit for drinking. The sludge can be pumped out using a sludge pump and it can be dried and used as a nitrogenous fertilizer. The advantages of the Ecotec process are many. Sewage water becomes drinking grade by means of herbal reagents which are absolutely safe and non-toxic. It is not power intensive, there is no need for aeration, no blowers, no complex network of pipes and tubes. It does not require expensive UV or RO treatment and the whole process is practically maintenance free. To switch over to the Ecotech process, you can mail me on ecohealthppl at gmail.com.